you were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. We had the Earl Spence, Danny Garcia pay-per-view this past Saturday. And we had Josecito Lopez on the undercard against Francisco Santana. Josecito Lopez got a stoppage in the 10th round. Let's be real. The referee should have stopped that fight two, three rounds prior. I mean, Francisco Santana was sleepwalking <laughs> like for two, three rounds straight. And um, I, I don't know about that referee. That that referee, um, if I ain't know no better, I think he had money on uh, that fight going the distance. But, you know, that that's just me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just me. But um, Josito Lopez got the stoppage. He looked good in the fight. Um, I thought he was going to win by stoppage anyway. It just came later than I expected. And um, Josecito Lopez has put himself in line for a big fight. Now, I'm not saying that because Josecito Lopez has beat a whole bunch of different fighters. And he's just in line for a big fight because of that. It's because of demand. At 147, there's a lot of demand. And Josecito Lopez fits the bill for a lot of that demand. Let me explain. Take Errol Spence Jr., for example. Now, he's he beat Sean Porter. He beat Danny Garcia. It's a pretty good chance he's not going to get the Manny Pacquiao fight. He already said he will never fight Keith Thurman. And it doesn't look like he's interested in fighting Terrence Crawford. Because when he was asked after this fight against Danny Garcia, who did he want next? He said he was going to buy some horses, buy some chickens, and go hang out in his new ranch. And hang out with his kids. Which I don't have a problem with, but you can't put that um, as a main event on a boxing card. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, Errol Spence is going to need opponents. Josecito Lopez fits the bill. You take Sean Porter. Sean Porter's going to stay at 147. He's lost to Errol Spence. <clears throat> he beat Danny Garcia. He's lost to Keith Thurman. He beat Ugas. He's not going to fight Jamal James. He's not going to fight a Boots Ennis. He's not going to fight a Virgil Ortiz. So Sean Porter needs an opponent. Josecito Lopez fits that bill. Danny Garcia just lost to Errol Spence. Lost to Keith Thurman. Lost to Sean Porter. I mean, he's fought all of the top guys. He's not going to get a Manny Pacquiao fight. Uh, he turned down the Terrence Crawford fight. So Danny Garcia needs opponents if he's going to stay at 147. Jose Zito Lopez fits that bill. And then you have guys that are trying to crack the top five, trying to, you know, state their claim as a top welterweight in the division, but they need – a bigger 147 pound name to put them in that limelight. Jerron Boots Ennis, Jamal James, like your Dennis Ugas, Virgil Ortiz, guys like that. They need that big fight against that big name to put themselves over the top and introduce themselves in a the division. Josecito Lopez fits that bill. So, Josecito Lopez is in a prime position to get a big fight. His next two to three fights should be huge because he's a name. Um, He's exciting to watch. And you know when he steps into the ring, he's going to leave it all out there. And we seen what he did against uh, Keith Thurman. Um, he caught Keith Thurman off of a long layoff. But there were some people that thought that fight was extremely close. You know, so Josecito Lopez is a good fighter. He is a good fighter. And he has a good enough name to where not only the big time fighters at 147, but the up and coming guys at 147 would look at him and say, yo, that's a good option. The majority of the guys in the top 10 to 12 at 147 would look at Josecito Lopez and be like, yo, that's a good fight. I would take that. And when you're in a position like that, business should be booming 
for Josecito Lopez for the next uh, year to 18 months. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace. <laughs>